going to study about resources. First of all, let me ask you what is a resource? Do you know? It's nothing. Anything that can be used to satisfy our needs is called a resource. The sentence over here which can define a lot about this chapter and uh, there are almost unlimited examples on our earth uh, that can that can be covered under this uh, topic resources let us consider this uh, the examples like uh, air water food minerals etc the air we breathe the water we drink the food we eat the transportation we use to get home from school etc are all the resources and air water food all these have something common in that something common in all of them what is that nothing but utility how do we use the resources how do we uh, make use of these resources in a proper manner how where do we get the resource this all comes under this chapter now uh, we will study how the resources are categorized the resources are categorized generally into three categories those are natural resources human resources and human made resources and what is a natural resource from the name itself uh, you can figure out that those which are drawn from the nature are known as natural resources which comes in the in a natural form like uh, we have so many examples like sunshine air water soil plants minerals etc these all are the examples of natural resources so natural resources are further classified depending upon the level of development and the use of stock origin and distribution so now here we will study the types of natural resources and they are biotic and abiotic resources ubiquitous and localized resources renewable and non renewable resources from biotic and abiotic biotic and abiotic are divided on the perspective of origin they are obtained and biotic is is very simple which means a uh, living and abiotic means uh, which is something related to non living thing the the single letter a defines the difference between the biotic and the abiotic biotic resources which we obtain from the biosphere like living things and their products like forest animals birds and their products fish and the other marine organisms and abiotic if we consider we get it from the non living things like land water air and minerals uh minerals like gold copper silver iron aluminum etc so here we can see in picture the difference between biotic and abiotic biotic which is which we get from living things that are forest animals uh, living life and abiotic which we get from non living like earth crust rocks minerals etc and localized resources if you know the meaning of ubiquitous and localized resources it's very easy to get get into it ubiquitous means present what is present on a particular uh, which is present everywhere like the resources which we found everywhere like uh, air water land sunlight which are not limited and which we can find on on this planet like everywhere and what do you mean by localized from the name itself you can figure out that localized means which is restricted to a particular location localized means which we the resources which we can find in a particular location like petroleum coal minerals etc uh, renewable and non renewable resources what do you mean by renewable a renewable which means which can be renewed or replenished again and again non renewable which cannot be replenished again and again and uh, renewable is a source which is we reproduced easily like uh, if we consider the examples of sunlight air and wind these all are renewable uh, even water is a renewable resource because we have a uh, we don't have a scarcity of water we have a lot of water in our planet earth and non renewable resources are like uh, minerals and fossils which takes years to uh, get renewed or get replenished again and we should keep in mind that uh, we should use the non renewable resources very very carefully and uh, judiciously so that uh, we can save it for our future generation also and they are they are very tough to renew because it takes a lot of years to get replenished so now we are going to study uh, human resources what do you mean by human resources human resources is nothing but the resources which comes from humans ourselves we ourselves are the resources we educate people and we spread the information among the people so that uh, 
so that we can get the development of a country and educated and skilled people help in the development of the country and it is the greatest and most important resources of any country because that is the reason why some of the countries are ahead uh because of their human resource development and um because of the human beings because the ability to transfer arm physical material into valuable resources we use human resources we educate and we develop new kind of resources now we are going to study human made resources what is what do you understand by the term human made resources by the name itself it is pretty much clear that resources which are made by humans though the resources are acquired from nature uh, but we do modification in the things and uh, we manufacture the things uh, so that we can use those resources in for, uh, further implementation those are known as human made resources uh, like buildings machinery railways roads ships etc which are the best examples of human made resources you can see this this is a dam a picture of dam which is created by a human though the uh, important part or the major part is from the nature the natural resource that is water but the construction is done by the humans and the resource is used so we can say it is a human made resource various types of uh, resources let us move on to the conservation of resources so now what do you understand when i call conservation or when i say conservation of resources it is just using the resources carefully and how do we protect resources and conserve them by giving them the time to get renewed is called the resource conservation it is it is a planned usage of natural resources should be realized that if all life supporting resources are indiscriminately used then our very existence on the earth would be in danger balancing the needs to use resources uh, and also conserve them for the future needs and the steps for uh, conserving are recycling and reusing by recycling and reusing we can conserve the nature we can conserve the resources in order to protect we need to use renewable resources conserve the diversity less cutting of trees and also preserving of uh, soil erosion these all comes under how do we conserve the environment or the res- the ways of conservation of resources like we can conserve the resource in the form of energy conservation uh, decreasing the quantity of energy used by human resources for example when we are not there in our homes or schools or colleges we can switch off the lights and fans and water conservation by reducing the use of fresh water like for example if somewhere the tap is leaking or someone open the tap and went off so we can conserve by uh, closing the tap and soil conservation which is very important and preserving the soil being eroded from earth surface we need to take steps to control this situation for all life form improving the quality of human beings and the practice of 3 hours as i already discussed re- reduce reuse and recycle must be followed at all levels in order to save and extend the availability of resources